When you make a dish that people always ask for more, well, that's something you must share. For the longest time, when I've made mushrooms to go with, oh, say, a steak, I prefer my beloved shiitakes. Yes. In a pan, oil, butter. Get a good sear on them. Then I like to add a little bit more butter, little vermouth, and some soy. And what that soy and butter and vermouth thing does is incredible. My favorite mushrooms. Mrs. Cooking Guy will not eat mushrooms any other way. Frankly, she can be a bit of a pain in the butt sometimes when it comes to food, but this we both agree on. But now I see people are making soy butter mushroom pasta all over the place, and I have not jumped on that. So I'm jumping today. And so we're going to take that concept concept of the delicious soy butter vermouth mushrooms and mix it with pappardelle. Pappardelle, beautiful, big, wide egg ribbons of pasta. This is going to be incredible. You'll have it, you'll want more. You boys will have it, you'll want more. I'm making a ton because everybody's going to have to go home with some because they will want more. You get it? We start with the mushrooms here and have a uh, selection for you. We'll start by putting three or four tablespoons of butter in our pan and a good glug of olive oil. And while that begins to melt, let's look at our mushrooms. These I think you would recognize as shiitakes. Love them, I've already said they're my fave. These guys are white and brown shimeji. Check them out. They come in these little nests, which are fantastic. I don't want this bottom part, so this will cut. I probably shouldn't do it in my hand, should I? Where do you want me to do this? <laughs> Anywhere. Well, you can't see it if I do it here. I can see it. You oh. can do it on your, okay. on your back, on your let's head. Cut, let's just cut it. the little bottom of the nest off. Yeah, you just gotta give me a second to get over there. Next. I can see it. So there you All go. right, look, so we'll do this and we'll just release them into the melting butter and oil. And here's a bigger nest, same thing, like this. By the way, you oh, don't do- Don't call it a nest. By the way, you That's, do- By the way, Max- There's a new show on HBO that makes me not want you to call it a nest. Okay, I won't. By the way, you do not have to use shimejis. You could use mayatakis. You could use just shiitakes. You could use anything you want. What about the unjust shiitake? No. Could you use chance white mushrooms, regular everyday white? Yes. No, because they suck. We don't use them. <laughs> so these guys are just getting separated in here. And you know how mushrooms shrink, right? Shrinkage, Jerry, shrinkage. And they go, right? And we do this. Now this is going to take, uh, you know, six, seven minutes to really start to get some softening happening and some color on them. So crank the heat, let this go like this. Give this a few minutes. So we're not there yet, but we'll add two things. Actually, one will be a little splotch of oil because we're gonna add a couple teaspoons of garlic in that little squeeze form that I'm so fond of. Wait for it to start to get super fragrant. We'll also add some thinly sliced Holland pepper. You could use red jalapeno. Could use green jalapeno, but I like where this is headed. And then we'll mix this in and everything gets tossed. We're starting to get some color on these mushrooms. This is the time for us to put our pasta in the water. And if you're ready to do that, Max, I'm ready to do that. Ready. Boiling salted water. And now in goes the pappardelle. In, 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 in. Thanks, guys. You too. We'll take some tongs. Make sure everybody's in. This is going to get about uh, five and a half, six minutes. Just follow the package directions. All right, leave that alone. Get back to our mushrooms. All right, pretty as this is, they're almost there. Listen, this is 15 under 15. This happens fast. So I'm just going to kill the heat on this until about a minute before my pasta is ready. Then we come back. All righty then. Look at the mushrooms. Beautiful color. Beautiful. All dreamy and gorgeous, but the fun is just starting because now we're going to give it like a three tablespoons of vermouth. Yes, I'll repeat myself, Max. Use white wine if you want, but vermouth, shelf stable, it lives there, don't have to use it up in a couple of days, and it gives you that hit of boozy deliciousness when you want it. Now, we're going to add a quarter cup of butter. I could have separated those actually, part of my hands. And as the butter starts to melt, we're gonna add a quarter cup of the soy. And that will look like this. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at what's happening here. It's getting gorgeously creamy. And the smell. Okay, with this turned down just, 
The pasta will go in. We can take our tongs and try not to spill all over Hell's Half Acre. We just do that. A little pasta water is fine. It'll help thin it a bit. Look at this papardelle. Of course you could use whatever you want, but there's something really special about these beautiful wide ribbons that make me super, super happy. Give it one more. And now we'll mix like this. Oh, mmm, butter, soy, little hint of vermouth. Gosh, darn it. Okay, I'm gonna throw in some green onions now, some pepper. I'm gonna let the soy be the salt in this. I might need to add a little at the end, but I think I'm gonna be okay. I wanna add some Parmesan to this, maybe a quarter of a cup. Oh, it's gorgeous. But you see how it's thickening? It's drying a little bit. So this is when we want to take some of the pasta water right out of the pot that still has the starch in it and try maybe a quarter of a cup at a time and keep it oh, oh so fantastic like that. Oh my wrong. Now Maxi, let's put it in your pretty bowl. And in we go. We're just making a big, gorgeous, lovely mound of this. Just one big nest. No reaction? I'm looking at my cameras, it's a amazing. No, idiot, I said we're just making one big nest. Oh, clickers. Is that the show? No, it's oh. not the name of the show, but people will know what I'm talking about. Comment if you do. And now, of course, you want a bunch of the mushrooms for the top because they're so pretty. How's that? Awesome. All right, so the last thing, the last two things, I mean, just a tiny bit more parm. Right? And then this next move is maybe something not everybody has, but you should. You've seen me use it before. It's called furikake. It's basically like seaweed, sesame seeds, all mixed up. It's a classic Japanese seasoning, and it is the best. And it's just going to add to the intensity of the umaminess of the entire thing, if that makes sense. Now look. Now we want to eat. Or take a picture. Then we eat. All right, so... Oof. It's not easy, but just go in, get yourself some mushrooms. I love these guys, the shimejis. Try and get some papardelle, a little red. Call this a day. Wow. Mm. It's so good. Listen, in the whole um, taste world, sweet, salty, sour, bitter, we all get those. The fifth one is umami, and it's maybe best described as savory. And things that bring umami to a dish are soy sauce, mushrooms. So you've got two big, powerful umami givers in this dish, along with the papardelle and the garlic and the vermouth. Anybody remember that scene from Oliver when he walks up to, God, I wish I could remember his name, Mr. whatever, with his empty bowl, he goes, please, sir, can I have some more? You will say, please, maybe not with a bad English accent. May I have some more, please? Please, can you bring, bring the, the papardel over? I got to eat some. The boys are going to eat some now. I'm going to continue to eat some. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you haven't hit subscribe, do that for us. And go to shopsdcg.com to get uh, the F Max shirt or some uh, BFF or pizza party. pizza party shirt or pans or knives. Buon appetit.